Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and today is a video so many of you have been asking for. I am going to be teaching you how to do forward counter turns. This is in the uh, bracket family. If you looked at my video that describes the difference between three turns, brackets, counters, and rockers. All right, you are gonna wanna have strong forward and backward edges for this, and you're gonna wanna already know both your three turns and your brackets before you move on to these counters. So I'll post a number of tutorials down below that you might wanna brush on, brush up on and get those skills clean before you work on these counters. But if you know how to do your three turns and your brackets and have strong edges, we can get started with this counter turn tutorial. So for these counters, I am gonna be using the curling circles here at the rink just to help you visualize how these look. They do not need to be done on curling circles, uh, but it does definitely help you understand where you're going. If you have a rink that has hockey lines on it, you can imagine that that hockey line is running down the center of these curling circles. So you wanna be aware of where your axis is because the turn's gonna happen right on that axis. So I'm gonna be starting on this red curling circle and I'm gonna be moving to the blue curling circle. Again, if you watch that video about the differences between the turns, one of the things that makes a counter unique is it does not stay on the same circle. It switches circles. Okay, so we're gonna start on the red, and we're gonna end on the blue. All right, I'm gonna start with my right forward inside counter, okay? So for this one, I'm gonna have my right foot in front, my left foot in back to give me a nice little push. I'm gonna face my body away from the circle the same way we do with a bracket. For, <clears throat> excuse me, for a three turn, we'd be facing in, for a bracket, we face out. A counter is like a bracket, so our body is gonna face away from that circle. So I have my right foot in front, but my left hand in front. You wanna keep that core really strong and engaged so that you can hold that posture, and it helps you make the turn a little easier. So I'm gonna give myself a push onto that inside edge and bring my free foot to the front the same way we would do with a bracket. So you're setting up for this counter as if you're going to do a bracket. Okay, so I'm on my right forward inside edge. Free foot comes to the front and I'm facing away. I'm facing where I want to go. When I get to my, my axis, my center line, a bracket would turn and go back towards the red on our outside edge, but instead I'm gonna turn a little farther around and go towards the blue on my inside edge, okay? So I'm starting and ending on my inside edge, but I'm switching circles. So once again, for this right forward inside bracket, we're gonna end on our right back inside edge, okay? So we're staying on the same edge, switching circles. So I'm gonna push left toe and left hand in front, lift the heel, and then we're gonna go on to our inside edge at the end. So now, at the end of the turn, I'm facing in towards my circle. Okay. When I started, my upper body was facing away, but when I'm done, my upper body is facing in. And my free foot started in front and ends behind. Okay. So if you worked on your brackets, this should be a very familiar motion. Facing one way and then flipping and facing the other way and having your heel come behind you. Okay. So you want to think of this, like I said, in the bracket family, but instead of staying on the same circle, you're switching circles, you're keeping the same edge. Right forward inside, foot and hand in front on the left, lift that heel, and then we're gonna go on to our right back inside edge. So now we're gonna to switch to our left foot. We're gonna do that left forward inside edge bracket. So I've switched circles because we're gonna come at it from the other side. All right, so now I'm gonna be just reversing everything. I'm putting my left foot in front so I can get onto that left inside edge. I'm gonna push with my right and my body faces away. So now I have my right hand in front so my, face, my body can face away from that red circle. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself a push, get my free foot in front turn, check my body nice and hard, and now I'm on my left back inside edge. So 
So as always, the upper body checking is extremely important, okay? It's gonna help you control your edge. If your upper body is loose or not turning at the correct timing, you're not gonna be able to get from one circle to the other. Your body's gonna try to go back towards its original circle as if you were doing a bracket. So make sure you're really locking in your core, keeping your hips tucked under, using your knees, keeping your shoulders over your hips, all of those things that we are learning as we progress through these turns, you need to be applying to these counters. Let's go ahead and try this again. So again, we're doing our left forward inside bracket. We're standing on our left forward inside edge. The free foot goes to the front. We're going to turn over the front of our skate and check. Now I'm looking behind myself. I'm pressing that hand down behind me. Okay, so as I'm going towards that right hand, I'm pressing that right hand down and engaging those muscles right here. And that's going to help me keep my body from wobbling around and help me stay nice and strong on that inside edge. So now we're gonna be switching to the outside edge counters. We're gonna do the forward outside edge counters. I'm gonna be starting with my left foot. So I've come back to my original circle here. I'm gonna be pushing with my right, and I'm still gonna have my body facing away from the circle the way I do with my brackets. That means my left foot and left hand are now both in front. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself a push, and my foot is gonna to go to my heel the same way I would with an outside bracket, okay? so. If you've learned your brackets and you've learned that technique, it's a lot easier to do these counters because it's all familiar, okay? So left hand in front, left foot in front. We're gonna push onto that outside edge. You're gonna lift the heel and now your free foot goes in front and we're going to our back outside edge. These are a little bit trickier because you have to get to that outside edge, but don't let that scare you. Okay, let's try this again. So that foot, the free foot starts in the back and ends in the front. Okay, so back to front. And the whole time our upper body is facing out on the beginning and the end, on inside on the end, okay? So left foot, left hand, free foot to the heel. You're gonna lift the heel up and now I'm facing into my circle. I'm on my left back outside edge and my left hand is pressing down to help me control my core. Now we're gonna be switching to that right foot. So I would change circles so I can do this on the other pattern. So we're gonna be doing this on our right forward outside edge, and we're gonna be ending on our right back outside edge on the other circle. So we're just doing the mirror image of what we just did. So my right foot is in front so that I can get to that outside edge to go around the circle. My right hand is gonna be in front so that I'm facing away from my circle. Okay, so I'm gonna push. My free foot goes to the heel. I lift the heel to turn. And then my right hand is gonna press down to help draw me back towards that circle. If your right hand flies up, your whole upper body can tip around. And again, you're not gonna be able to stay on that circle. I help steer myself with this hand. So when I'm done, I'm pressing that hand onto the circle saying, I wanna go there. And my body follows that hand around. Let's do it again and you're gonna be able to see that a little bit on this one now that you know to look for it. Okay, so I have that right hand in front. I'm going towards that right hand. My heel lifts up, and then I press this hand down in the direction where I want to go. All right, skaters, I know so many of you have been asking for that counter tutorial. So 
Now you've got it. You can go out and work on making those counters as nice and clean and polished as you can. As always, I love looking at your progress, so you can tag me on Instagram at skatingcoachjulia so I can check out all your videos. If you enjoyed this video, please do give us that thumbs up, and I look forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.